Sometimes to get an idea of a country's culture, the best place to start is the place you find in every culture. Would you ever pay a thousand yen for a McDonald's burger? Even if the burger came gift wrapped like an item of jewellery, looked like this, this and this, came with a manual, came with a premium bag, and your very own VIP seating in store, even if it does look like that. And even if the burger was so exclusive and so limited that you'd have to plan a bank heist style trip to McDonald's the night before in order to actually get one. I used to sit dramatically in front of my mirror holding a thousand yen and asking myself those very same rhetorical questions. Until just several weeks ago, McDonald's went ahead and released the jewellery set. A set of burgers so ridiculous and so over the top that it straddled the fine line between being pretty amazing and just simply taking the piss. But then again, McDonald's Japan are already quite good at doing that. Take a look at this advert for the Dancing McCrew, in which several customers decide to dance around a McDonald's with a complete disregard for health and safety. At least they're washing their hands. And who the hell's this guy? He doesn't even work there. The jewellery burgers are three unique burgers, each costing 1,000 yen. Just for the burger alone. Just for the burger alone. No french fries and no drink. They were the single most expensive item ever put on a McDonald's. Anyway. That's not to say the burgers themselves weren't that good. Take a look at the gold ring. Pineapple, bacon, Monterey Jack cheese and barbecue sauce. The black diamond was black truffle sauce, Emmental cheese, grilled onions and mushrooms. And the last one, the ruby spark, chorizo, avocado and pepper jack cheese. But what was so intriguing about the burgers was less about the burgers themselves, which were rather impressive, but just about the sheer unbridled exclusivity of each burger and the wrapping of the burgers themselves. Each item came gift wrapped like an item of jewellery, hence the name, the jewellery set. And came in the sort of thick plastic bags you'd expect from an Apple store. A lot of that thousand yen is actually on the wrapping and not so much the burger. The actual bag that the burger came in is estimated to have cost about 100 yen. That's 100 yen you're going to throw away on a bag from McDonald's. And that's not exactly a collector's item. So even if you took the big decision to go and buy one of the special jewellery burgers. Your next problem would actually be getting hold of one because they're only sold on one day of the week in a very limited time span. Indeed, the first time I went to go and get one, they'd sold out by midday. But at least McDonald's puts effort into its promotions. I always knew the sad day would come that I made a McDonald's unboxing video. And that day is now. The unboxing of the burger. So, inside. Comes with a pretty little ribbon. Now, first, the idiot's guy. We've got like a birthday card. Let's see if I can get this out of here. Bikes come to Canada. We have a burger. Flip your wings and fly to your daddy. I don't know what it is, but it looks like a burger. Hit the floor Good. Yeah. Oh, so I'm, I'm, I have no idea what the screen stuff is. Yeah. What would you give it out of ten? Not a thousand yen.